Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy lock series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we managed to catch a mirror carp trophy on Amber Lake. In this episode we are heading to a new water body but before we do that this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try your fishing spots. Today's fun spot is on Winding Rivulet. From this spot you can expect mostly just white bream but you can have an old roach here and there. This spot also gives trophies fairly easily. I saw a few in the chat while I was here for almost an hour. In total we made 7 75 silver and you can also get an easy trophy from here so this is definitely a very good spot thanks for the bait donations again i really really appreciate it and we have a huge amount of bait collected already can't wait to show it all to you okay jesus take the wheel please give me something nice something new maybe and i guess we're going to quarry lake my plan right now is to troll on quarry and for that we need some new rods to use with our caliber reels the rods i have in mind are ventura spf 70h thanks borna for suggesting these rods these are actually the new meta as I've heard. Now that we have these rods, let's use our fishing tool to make some new leaders. I will be making these 28.2 kg 60 cm fluorocarbon leaders. For the lure, I will use this Palsamino 75F006 with size 1 hooks. I will also buy some bitter almond attractant to finish off 100% ground bait making that we did not get in the last episode. This is for you my Patreons. Join the Patreon to support my channel and have access to exclusive content, early access and more. This right here is actually pretty exciting for me because this is the second time I've done any trolling on Quarry and this time I also have some very, very OP gear. Last time when I did a fun spot here I had very weak rods and it did not go that well. So I think the game plan right now is to just uh, troll over the deeper parts. Right now I will be boating towards the deeper parts. I will throw out two of my rods with the balls of mineral lure and yeah, just keep the trolling motor on and wait for a bite and if we have a bite drag out the fish and see what it is i think we should get almost anything in fairly easily unless it's a quarry jar or something close to a trophy size this is awesome i actually quite enjoy this this is spin fishing without you having to cast all the time which is super annoying well it's not annoying if you do it for like an hour or two but it's annoying if you do it on balaya for like 20 hours or 30 hours we have our first fish on it doesn't seem to be anything too big and we have something also on the second rod and that one is actually doing something with our reel it is making noise that is odd oh actually a fairly nice lake trout two kilos that is awesome first lake trout of the video let's see what's on the second rod oh yeah i had my drag on like too low so it was just spooling me but actually it was not doing anything to me as you can see but this is actually a rainbow wow that is awesome this is actually quite rare here i think 2.7 kilo rainbow trout awesome let's cast back in and get some more fish okay another mini fish but by the way the route that i'm taking right now now is to just go around the island that's in the middle of Cory Lake and to go over those deep spots. Nothing else. I just do that over and over again. Let's make some ground bait very quickly. Time to get to 100%. I will be making like 5 to 10 pieces of ground bait while trolling. I think every time when I go out of this interface, I should have a fish on. Well, that's new. Arctic char. That looks amazing. That fish was beautiful. Too bad the Arctic char was just uh, too small. It wasn't even a marker fish. But this is a lake trout and a marker as well. 1.1 kilo. I just get lost sometimes on the lake. I don't know which way to turn. Oh, that's the sound of freedom. Actually, no, I think this is a hawk, not an eagle. So no sound of freedom. Can't even scoop on boat. SMH. Another awesome fish. This is a lucky fish. A 777 Arctic jar. 777? It is a good number. At least I do believe so. And we have a fish on one of the rods. Something tiny again. I really want something that will fight for its life. But never mind. That was like a 200 gram lake trout. The lure was even bigger than the lake trout, I think. This is an unexpected catch. I did not expect to catch pike over here, but I guess this is a spot for pike because I've gone to the shallows almost. I swear, the lure is bigger than this patch. Another tiny fish. I just can't catch a break, I think, to get anything big. But let's see how big this fish is. Nevertheless, it's still awesome to troll on quarry right now. Oh, we got fishing percentage, so that's perfect. We need spin fishing percentage. I think I will also try to troll over this 7.5 meter hole. Just go from 15 to the right side to the deepest hole and then to 7.5 and back to 15. Okay, this is a better fish. You can see something on the indicator on the bottom at least. And it had some zoomies before. Trust me, I'm not lying. So maybe like a 3 or 4 kilo lake trout would be awesome to see. It should be coming to the surface soon. Oh yeah, that's a nice lake trout. We take these. This is actually worth money already. 4.2 kilos. That's awesome because the lake trout trophy size is 10 kilos. So this was almost half the trophy size. That is a very good sign that you can actually get something bigger over here as well. Another 
another fish on. I think this could be an arctic char. Oh, it is actually. That's awesome. I actually predicted that. So almost one kilo. The thing is, so far from this right side of quarry, I've caught pretty much only arctic char. And I've caught zero arctic char from anywhere else. So I guess this is the site for arctic char right now. Pig alert. This is something nice once again. Maybe another near five kilo lake trout. Maybe not, but it is putting in a fight and I'm all for it. By the way, I also got like two or three percent off ground bait making done. So we are fairly close to 100%, but this fish is awesome. I don't like three, four kilos. Yeah, three kilos. Oh, the anticipation. I felt a powerful tug on the line. You never know what the depths of quarry might have in store for you. And this is a monster fish. The water is crystal clear and I can almost feel the raw power of this fish right now in quarry. I don't know what to say. I have an OP here. I have the caliber reel, the meta rod, 28.2 kilo liter. And this thing is spooling me like crazy. I don't think I've done any damage to it so far. And actually the fight started, I would say like five minutes ago. So quite some time in game. And now it's just holding. It's not moving at all. Well, I'm going to hold my stance as well. I'm not going to give up, you know, I'm not giving away anything. This fish will end up in my keep net. Unless, you know, I get the fish got away text that is a sad moment in every angler's life and i think that could happen actually but hopefully not we got two size one treble hooks on this lure how could the fish get away it has to be secured on those hooks i'm not 100 percent sure but i think because of the dog of war we're having right now the boat is actually moving towards the fish because the fish is pulling so hard and i'm also putting pressure onto the fish the boat is slowly slowly moving towards the fish that is super odd but on the same time a very cool detail in the game it's it's actually going to get dark soon and the fish is still alive and moving and fighting for its life. Well, if I, if I should say for its life, for its digital life, I guess. But yeah, it's uh, not giving up. I think we will be getting this fish in when it's dark. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, anytime now. The fish is tired. It is almost 11 p.m. already. I've been fighting with this fish for quite some time. So this was an insane fight. I think probably my best fight so far in the game. Okay, what kind of a fish this is? I can't see through the water yet. Come on, game. Show me. What is this monster? I don't think this is a lake trout. It has to be like a quarry char or something big. It has to be something very big. Come on, fishy. I'm close to the surface. I want to see who you are. Who was fooling me? Who was fooling me? Okay, I've just seen it. It's a quarry char. It's massive. What if this is actually the trophy? That would be insane. But that fish is absolutely huge. Holy. And it looks amazing. I love the colors of this fish. The textures are amazing for quarry char. Come on game. Give me the fish. That is huge. It could be a trophy. Oh, 17.9 kilos. 161,000 EXP. That's insane. This is a rare fish from quarry. And I've just caught one that's almost a trophy size, I think. Let me just check quick what the trophy size is. I just checked and the trophy size for quarry char is 22 kilos. So we were only four kilos off. That's actually insane. On the first day on quarry, we catch a fish like this. And it's also a global weekly record. My first ever global weekly record, I think this is. Holy, this is amazing. I love you, quarry. At least this time on this trip. I think it should be the best. Yeah, the best in my region. And I think it was on the fifth spot on the global list. I want to see if float fishing is any good on quarry at night time so the first float fishing spot i will be trying is at 121 114 i will use step 40 hook size 16 and for the bait we have some mayfly larva so let's see if this is any good or not i will cast that far away it seems about right first nibble did i spook the fish oh, i think i spooked the fish damn it all right this is cool i can see the fish nibbling at the hook this is awesome oh and we have a second fish as well on my second rod that is amazing this is so cool to see uh, we have one hooked i don't want to the bait as well let's get this one as well Nice, we managed to hook both of these fish. So 146 gram vendors. Not too bad because I think 500 grams is the trophy size. Pretty decent. And let's see, how big was this vendors? 317 grams. Okay, I think this has trophy potential. Another fish. Come on. Yeah, 100 gram vendors. Nothing too big. Oh, we managed to hook this one as well. I did not think I was able to do that. But another 100 plus gram vendors. Not too bad. I can certainly say this is a very good spot. You just keep catching fish like this all the time. And we also just 
just got 50% float fishing. Another thing completed. Time to craft some more ground bait. I have to say that this spot is actually working wonders. I keep catching vendors after vendors and they keep getting bigger. This is another 300 gram vendors. This spot is awesome. Definitely come here if you haven't yet. Decent vendors. Tiny but still a marker vendors. It is time to delete all these ground bait that I've actually put into my inventory. Yeah, that is a lot. But we will be deleting all of this, so all good. I really haven't had much luck lately with bigger vendors. Mostly I get vendors that are like 100 grams or 150, probably another one, yeah, 155 grams, but nothing that's striking close to the trophy size. So I think I'll try here until the end of the day and then go to a new spot. Ooh, almost a 300 gram vendors. That's a nice one. It's always like this. If you complain, you get something nice. It's like a golden rule. And this is another decent vendors. Can't complain about that. Let's make some ground bait for bream. We will use pearl barley for base. For additives, we will use maggots, casters, millet porridge, and any soil for attractant. This is the golden elixir for bream fishing right now in Cory Lake. The spot where I will be fishing for bream is at 9911. I will use clip size 14, hook size 1, and for the bait, cottage cheese dough. You already saw what kind of a ground bait I use, so that's the ground bait I have on as well. This spot is supposed to give a lot of bream trophies, so let's test our luck here. I've already seen somebody get a bream trophy here, so their odds are pretty high. And bream is actually in the trophy log for Cory Lake. And the first bream is almost 1.2 kilos, which is a very good start. We have another bream on, and this seems fairly big as well, but my setup is not the best on this rod, so it could be like 2 kilos, maybe even kilo and a half. Yeah, it doesn't look humongous. By the way, the game plan for me right now is to fish for bream during the nighttime and during the daytime, try float fishing for vendors and spin fishing for the lake trout trophy. Let's see which trophy we will get first. Another pig is on the hook. We take these. I love catching these bream on this light setup. If they are around 2 kilos, 3 kilos, they fight actually very well and they pay a lot of money, which is always welcome because we need a lot of cash. And this bream is 2.5 kilos. That is actually a behemoth of a bream, to be fair. I am very happy with that. Let's see what is on rod number 3. Nothing that big, but still, I hope it is a market fish, so at least over a kilo would be best. Yeah, it is. If you see this kind of a texture on the bream, this means it's over a kilo. And this one is actually almost 2 kilos, but it didn't fight at all, which is weird. As most of you guys probably know, the bream trophy size is 4.4 kilos, and it is 7 kilos for the blue tag. Personally, I've never seen anyone get a blue tag bream, and I think it is very rare to get one, but these trophies are not that rare. When I was actually doing some hunting for eye trophy on Mosquito, I caught a lot of bream trophies on Mosquito Lake, which is not even in the log, but still, it was very cool to get bream trophies left and right. 1.6 kilos, 1 kilo, and 1.5 kilos. I I wonder how long will this spot be active? Will it die out at like 8am or 9am or 7am? But I guess we will see. But still, at 6am it is working perfectly. So I'll get a few more from this spot and then let's go sell our fish. I am really really curious how much does the quarry char actually pay? So hopefully it will pay well. 2.3 kilo bream at 7am. That is a very good sign. This is definitely one of the bigger bream I've caught so far in this episode and it was spooling me on this reel. 2.7 kilos. That is super nice. Yes, definitely my biggest bream so far in this episode. It is time to make some money. Filled in a lake trout cafe order for 65 silver and vendors order for 40 silver. Rest of our keep net was worth 341 silver, including the quarry char, which was worth a whopping 143 silver. This means in around two hours we made 446 silver. I did not manage to go spin fishing during the daytime, but right now I'm back doing some bream fishing because it is already 8 p.m. and the first fish that we have on seems to be a behemoth. It is pretty heavy to reel in and it did not give up easily. But I mean, as I said before, this is the light setup. But we will see in a second what kind of fish this is. It is a bream and a fairly nice bream. Let's see how big is our first fish of the night. Three kilos. Okay, that is a very good sign. Only 1.4 kilos under the trophy size. Bottom fishing percentage. Let's go 76%. Only four more percent to go until 80%, which means then we will unlock the spot rod. The thing that we need, we really, really need it. And hello back. I love to see you guys in chat. This spot is actually nuts. I've been reeling in fish of the fish without a stop. And we have another very nice bream on. I mean, this rod is a bit stronger, so they don't do as much damage on this one. But still, 1.6 kills. It was a very nice fish. And we have another one on this rod. By the indicator down below, I'm not sure if this will be a market fish. Oh, it is. There is not even a doubt about that. 1 kilo and 16 grams. And somebody actually just caught a trophy bream. Congratulations to that guy. Wow, what is this? This is my best setup out here right now. 
and it was put to the max almost for some time. Now it like kind of gave up. Let's net this fish because this is actually fairly big. Almost four kilos? You have to be kidding me. This is 400 grams under the trophy size. I think we might be actually getting a bream trophy. I swear somebody just caught a trophy and I don't mean the one on the bottom but up here. Yeah, somebody just caught one as well. So two trophies pretty much back to back within like 10 minutes and then there was another one. Well, this is the lightest setup and this bream is actually spooling me. I have an idea. This could be another like four kilo bream maybe it was fighting very very well actually 3.2 kilos so not too far off but not very close either let's go and sell our fish i did a bit of spin fishing as well but nothing interesting happened so no clips for you guys i managed to sell my keep net for 218 silver which is not too bad but not too great either back to bream fishing i guess because i missed a day again but it is not all lost because we will get our ground bait making now to 100 percent i have less than a percent to go so let's choose to correct attractant which should be the bitter almond and craft our life away 99.6 percent let's go only 0.4 percent to go 99.7 oh the anticipation in the air oh i got percentage again that was super lucky i was so lucky right now that's unbelievable 99.9 .9. okay 0.1 percent to go any second now yeah we got it we have got 100 percent ground bait making we maxed out the skill completely and we never ever have to level up the skill again this is is amazing but still the quality is 9 out of 10 i am not a professional i guess okay let's go and check what did we unlock with 100 chrome bit making but first let's get these fish out oh this is a tiny fish i do not like to see these guys i mean it was a market fish that's worth some money with 100 chrome bait making we unlock the 13th level of components for additives we unlock tried crustaceans and for attractants caviar strawberry grass and tutti frutti we cannot forget about the ability to craft pva as well pva is op and now we need 100% bottom fishing to actually use it. I came to Winding Rivulet to buy some ingredients to make egg dough and for making egg dough we need chicken eggs, wheat flour and some salt. I will buy a ton of eggs and other stuff as well. Current goal is to get to at least 70% to unlock another bait that I can harvest but at the end of the day I would like to get to 75% right now to harvest leeches because you know I like to scoop up my tasty snacks from the water and to get additional leech here and there would be amazing. So we can actually get get to 70% fairly easily I think. This means we can harvest caddis fly from water but I still want the leeches as well. Let's see if we can get to 75% in this episode. If not then maybe in the next episode or an episode after that. I guess we'll see. I wonder how much egg dough I actually need to craft to get to 100% bait making because you know egg dough is something that you have to craft until you get to 100% and since you unlock this quite early on it doesn't give you much percentage later on if you get to like 90% or 95% or even even at 80% I think. At first I thought it was gonna be awful to craft baits and fish at the same time but to be fair this is actually quite chill. I throw in my rods, actually my bait, not my rods, that would be bad, and then craft some ecto and yeah craft ecto like 10 times and then drag out the fish and repeat the process. Not too bad at all. Nice bream, we take these. Give me bottom fishing percentage bream please. Oh yeah it actually did. 0.1 to bottom fishing. Awesome. Give me some more bottom fishing percentage please. No percentage. Unless lucky but that fish was 2.7 kilos that is money in the bank another two kilo bream and a three kilo bream wow they keep getting bigger and bigger just look at this keep net we have only one fish that is not the marker fish everything else is a marker fish will this fish continue the trend of markers only i think it will it is actually putting in a fair fight against this setup let's see is this a marker yes it is obviously it is because of the texture we should be getting 70 percent any second now yeah we got 70 percent awesome i just have to say it is already slow to get any percentage. I can't imagine what you have to go through when you get to like 90%. But with that 70%, we did unlock a few things. First of all, we unlocked the ability to craft squid meat and to harvest caddisfly larva from the water. So next up, 75% maybe? And actually, I made a mistake before. For leeches, you need 80%, which I do not think we can get in this episode. But you know, we can always grind them out in the future episodes. 3.6 kilos. Another behemoth. Let's make some money. This time i spent one hour doing bream fishing only actually not even an hour like half an hour or so while crafting some baits and we made 201 silver which is insane oh 
the weather outside is frightful. Can't even do any fishing. Look at this wind. It's impossible to fish, but I will still try. We have something on. I didn't even know I had anything on, really. And it's supreme. The wind almost took that fish. I sure do hope none of these trees will break in the wind and actually fall on me. Well, that is a first. A 605 gram white bream. This is my first ever white bream from this spot. What a nice end to this half an hour of bream fishing. A 2.5 kilo bream. The fishing was absolutely awful because of the wind and it really shows in the results because we made only 63 silver this time. Could this actually be it? This fish is spooling me like there is no tomorrow. Could this be the trophy bream we have been looking for? It is moving quite slowly as well and the setup is not the worst. As you can see the test is fine, the reel is fine, everything seems okay. Nothing is broken but it is spooling me. Could this be the at least 4.4 kilo bream? I've seen so many trophies that other people have caught in the meanwhile and I'm getting jealous slowly. I want one of these bream trophies out of Cory already. Okay, the fish finally gave up. Let's see if this is a trophy bream or not. If the if there is a different texture or maybe it's even a different fish? That does not look like a bream. That looks more like a common carp. Well, we have been trolled, I guess. This is maybe like 3 or 4 kilo carb only as well. Nothing big. Only 3.2 kilos. Ah, we have been trolled. Even though we got trolled, we did not give up and were rewarded with a nice 3.7 kilo bream. Only 2.5% to go. This is exciting. I finally had the energy to come spin fishing from the shore. This is like a throwback to Belaya River. Yuck. So the spin fishing spot where I'm fishing at right now is at 92.100. I will use retrieval speed 50 50, and for the lure, the same Balsamino 75F006 that I was using before when I was doing some trolling. So the retrieval method I'm using is twitching. You can also call this stop and go because you reel in a bit and stop, reel in a bit and stop and just continue the same pattern all over again until you have a fish on or you have got nothing and you have your lure with you and you have to make a new cast. What a nice fish. This is our second fish, I think. It's an Arctic char, 1.7 kilos. This is my first ever marker Arctic char are. We should celebrate this day. But yeah, by the way, this stop and go method is the best method to use here if you use this balsam minnow. So definitely do this and do not do any straight retrieval. It will not work as well. Fish on quarry like it if you do it like this, unless you do trolling. And as I said that, we've hooked into something very nice. It's pulling me, which is a very good sign. Unless it's a quarry char, then it's uh, possibly a death sentence actually. But I don't think this is a quarry char. Look at the way it's just sitting at the bottom. I'm not doing anything to it. It's so funny. Never mind. It's slowly coming up. Maybe another arctic char or a lake trout. Come on, stop your zoomies and come to my keep net. Oh, that is actually a lovely arctic char. Another PB. We take these. I think maybe like 7 kilos or 6 kilos. I don't even know. Let's see how big this arctic char is. It looks fairly big. Okay, doesn't want to come to the net. Let's try again. Come on, please. Almost 10 kilos. Wow, that is a big specimen. I did not think it would be that big. Okay, let's cast back in. And we have another arctic char on. What is going on? We just keep catching this fish all over and over again. I did not do any recording because I thought, hey, this is not the biggest lake trout, but actually it was almost six and a half kilos, which means my new personal best lake trout. The bite rate over here is actually fairly good. I keep getting fish with almost every single cast. It is a bit annoying to do the stop and go method all the time, but it works so well. So if you don't do the stop and go method, you're just wasting your own time. Let's see if we have a hit almost right away. Oh yeah, we have a hit right away. Just as I cast in, this is wonderful. This spot is working so well with the slur. And this fish is not even half bad. 3.8 kilo lake trout. I think this is the cast where I will not catch fish actually. We're pretty close to the shore already. Oh, never mind. We have a fish on. And a decent fish by the looks of it. Oh yeah, a very nice lake trout. I think it, this one is even bigger than the one I had before. So it should be like... Four kilos? Five? Oh, actually almost six kilos. Awesome. Here we go. Another very nice Arctic char. Almost five kilos. We take these. Someone just caught the Lake Trout Trophy. I really want one, but congratulations, dude. Imagine if we actually get like a perch trophy because I caught a few perch on this lure. It would be the funniest thing ever. Going for Lake Trout, but actually end up with a perch trophy. Oh, this is new species. Since lure fishing is not the best during the nighttime, I am back doing some bream fishing. Max efficiency. Fishing with lures during the daytime 
and bottom fishing during the night time for max exp money and also fishing percentage this is such a nice bream on the hook as the first fish or the second fish yeah 3.6 kilos what a nice start to the evening another behemoth i think i've hooked into back-to-back -back behemoths this fish is 3.6 kilos and the one before was 3.5 kilos i bet they were brothers time to make some more money once again i was fishing here for like hour and a half i think yeah one hour and 24 minutes which means we should be making a bit more money than we did last time hopefully like at least twice the amount 396 silver that is actually surprising i did not think we would make that much money but these arctic char are worth a lot same with the lake trout this is the first seven trout trophy i've seen so far looks cool and i caught a 156 gram perch this is fair game i know yeah this is totally fair this is another nice arctic char around two or three kilos i believe yeah 2.2 kilos as you can see it's raining and there is also thunderstorm and huge winds right now going on on quarry lake i do wonder if this is actually better for fishing or worse will i get bigger fish less fish more fish i don't really know but we will find out after this hour and i will let you guys know if it was good or if it was bad i think this fish will give us enough exp so that we will get to level 27 we are only a few exp off level 27 and this seems like a fairly big specimen i don't know if this is a lake trout or another arctic char because mostly i've caught arctic char lately it is arctic char and a nice one probably my second to the pb i think so at least yeah 6.3 kilos the biggest is like 9 kilos and this is definitely on the second spot but we have got level 27 pretty amazing and with level 27 we unlocked a new water body the ladoga archipelago so one day we will have to go here now okay this fish is huge i think this could be close to the trophy size i don't think it's a trophy but close to yeah 8.1 kilos so 1.9 kilo of the trophy size super nice fish but now i just want the trophy please game give it to me i keep catching bream close to two or three kilos but nothing very close to the trophy size so i think i will not show any more clips of bream fishing unless it's a trophy or very close to the trophy size and yeah i still keep fishing for these during the night time because they are excellent money sorry i lied i have to show you this bream i know it's not a trophy or not even close but it is 1111 gram bream it's awesome quick jog back to the spin fishing spot it's so convenient this wasn't like right next to each other almost so easy to go from one spot to the other also just for your information the weather did not not affect fishing that much i would have to say it was not anything remarkable yo somebody caught a 6.1 kilo bream seven kilo is a blue tag that was not too far off that's the biggest bream i've seen in the chat so far but what in the world is this i've just caught a crucian carp from quarry from this spot we're fishing for bream this is a special fish i saw it for a second and i thought hey i have to record this this is a seven trout and my biggest so far 3.2 kilos what a nice fish it looks amazing it is money time i filled in a lake trout cafe order for 75 silver rest of our keep net was worth 397 silver which means in total we made 472 silver so far our best keep net overall but it was for two hours of fishing instead of one what a nice rainbow trout let's go i want to catch one of these in real life it would be so cool i've actually recently just caught my first ever sea trout from the sea so if you want to see photos or read about it a bit i have a link to it in the description it's on my web page i added a few photos and also wrote how did i catch it and what did i use and so on so close yet so far it is money time again i filled in a prime cafe order for 35 silver rest of our keep net was worth 257 silver which means in total we made 292 silver not too bad for one hour and 20 minutes of fishing this has to be a trophy it just has to be a trophy no other bream would spool me like this i think i should move closer to the fish it seems to be stuck behind a corner or maybe not i'm not sure but i'm gonna move closer to it it is slowly giving up show yourself fishy okay yeah i've been trolled again another nice rainbow trout 1.5 kilos not too bad hey this lake trout doesn't seem half bad to be fair this is money and spin fishing percentage another big lake trout i've actually had no luck with arctic char anymore which is quite odd because i caught a lot of them here before and now i've caught zero of them once again it's time to make some money i filled in a lake trout cafe order for 87 silver and sold rest of the keep net for 327 silver which means in total we made 414 silver i caught all of these fish within two hours of in-game time this is my biggest rainbow i think three kilos i do believe this is my biggest so far awesome what have i hooked into now this seems like a nice fish if it's an arctic char this could be worth a lot of money maybe it's around nine kilos or ten kilos again oh it's actually spooling me quite a bit hmm i was not ready to be spooled actually this is the first time this has happened on this spot i don't believe this is a regular fish this has to be either a trophy lake trout or an extremely big 
Arctic char. There's no way this is a quarry char because it has no zoomies at all. But it's not coming to the keep net easily. It's putting in a fair fight. I have the fish finally closer to me. It's not that far away anymore, so I think we will have it in the keep net soon. I really want to see what kind of fish this is. I haven't still seen it. Like, not at all. Not even for a second. Come on, fishy. Just come to the keep net. I have been fighting with you for too long. This setup is OP. How are you so strong? All right. Oh, it is a lake trout. I have just spotted the fish. This has to be a trophy. I've never caught a lake trout that big. And no other lake trout has fought for that long. Look at the graphics. It just visually looks massive. Let's see if we can keep it right now over here. Yes. It is actually 12.4 kilos. It's over 10 kilos. So much. And we got 60% spin fishing as well. This is awesome. Oh my god. I am so happy about this trophy. Our first big, big spin fishing trophy. Because the previous spin fishing trophy was like 4 kilos. This is almost 13 kilos. Okay, sorry. It's 12 and a half kilos. But still, this is massive. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And here we go. We have our first trophy in the Cory collection log. This is so, so nice to see. I am extremely happy about it. We have would start to the Cory collection log. Time to sell all our fish one last time for 349 silver. Absolutely amazing. I'm stoked about this trophy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you also might like this one. Take care. Bye-bye.